as bombs continue to fall in Gaza City. Inside this courtyard, a possible refuge for some. 13-year-old Isra al-Kishawi is leading a Reuters camera crew around a school. Operated by the United Nations, that's become a shelter for several families. Some children are playing. Others are looking up and pointing at Israeli aircraft in the sky. The airstrikes are the worst in the 75-year history of conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. Al-Kishawi is saying she can't sleep at night. She goes to the bathroom every few minutes because she's afraid of the rockets. She says, 30 people sleep here. There's no space for us all. Gaza's health ministry says more than 800 people have been killed by the airstrikes in the days since the surprise Hamas massacres in Israel that reportedly killed 900 people, most of them civilians. Israel says it's striking military targets in Gaza, such as weapon storage sites, and that they give warning to civilians to leave. Reuters watched this child being pulled from the rubble, dead said to be four years old. The UN Secretary General says 137,000 people are sheltering inside UN facilities like the school, but their safety is not guaranteed. The UN said on Tuesday that Israel's air operations have hit schools and UN buildings across Gaza with civilian casualties. al kashawi tells us there's no running water in the bathroom and that she's developed a rash because she hasn't been able to bathe in days. She says, I wish I could be a normal child living with no war, no rockets, so we can safely return 